Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die here on the Mindcrack server. And first of all, I want to thank you very much. Um, amazing amount of likes again, over 2500 and counting. Uh, it's just great and tons of feedback. So, looks like we have a pipe controversy going on. <laughs> Um, people are um, saying, yeah, you go a bit overboard with the pipes. Uh, that's 50% of the people. F other 50% says, man, those pipes look freaking amazing. <laughs> so, we need to meet somewhere in the middle, I guess. That's the first um, amount of feedback I got from last, um, yeah, last from the last episode. I took a break yesterday. I was playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege with Pommes and Fox and so on. Having fun with that. The other part was, hey... All these building episodes, it is ridiculous. I'm quoting here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm quoting here. So, um, what do I get from feedback like that? Um, it was worded quite negatively. This is ridiculous. And it got a bunch of upvotes as well. Sometimes, I yeah, mean, come on, don't be so, so unfriendly. You know, I will go exploring today, of course. I already did a little mining trip and smelting down stuff, but I don't think mining is, is too, in, too interesting. We want to go to the big city today and hopefully find a nail gun. So, feedback, um, very important and one of the great things about having a YouTube channel, you know, um, you're building something together. And people give you ideas. Sometimes you have to be a bit stubborn and go like, nah, you don't see the big picture yet. Let me continue what I'm doing here. And we might have such a case here with the pipes. Um, I'm thinking it will all come together if we make the building bigger. Right now on this, it's pretty big already, but still relatively small in, in, yeah, compared to what I want to make in the end. Um, the pipes might be a bit too much. But I think if we go bigger, um, it will all come together. But I'm not saying I will never take out these pipes. This, these pipes, are these outside pipes here, those um, um, are the culprit. Most people were unsure about if they might be too much or not. And, well, I'm also not 100% sure. It's a work in progress. You might do away with them again. And, yeah, change it up a little bit. Maybe, what, who's... What sound is that? Oh, here we go, the guy. People are also a bit mad about my wooden staircase here. Um, saying it's really a weak point, and obviously, but I'm not planning to keep it all the time. But for now, we're gonna keep it. We will see how everything develops around here. You know, we got to blow up the house at one point, because I'm not thinking it will collapse anytime soon, soon from the zombie damage. So we gotta wait and see how it all develops. But maybe we have some another thing here and then have walkways coming around but for now this is good always keep in mind the whole thing we're doing here is work in progress and eventually it will all come together right that's that's how we work i mean you sometimes have a vision of how something should look in the end but you're not 100 percent sure and you know you gotta do some trial and error especially you know, in Minecraft they have ten thousands of hours of building experience pretty much, but not in this game. And I'm trying to figure something out, find a style, a trademark style, and maybe our trademark style would be laying out the pipes. Pun intended. <laughs> so we will see. But in general I think it looks okay. I don't see an overflow of pipes. I wasn't even contemplating to put some pipes down over there to blend it in. But I'm gonna stay away from it for now. Um, there was a nice tip as well, uh, some people saying you can, it's counterintuitive, but you can flip around lights and they will still do the job. They will pretty much shine all the way through buildings. So that's why I'm starting to record you during night, so we can test that. Alright, so... Yeah. It seems it lights up this place here a little bit, right? Turn off our headlight. Uh, no, but it's it's shining through to the other side, is it? Yeah. 
definitely does. It's lit up here. Alright. Uh, it would not blind the people so much. It might even look cool. I mean, now you can look at it and it's not, not blinding you. Hmm. We might do that. You know, for the lights we have down here, I'll flick them around like that. So it looks like some whatever. Anything but a light. <laughs> but who, because who would put a light this way around? But let's see if it... Yeah, man, it's illuminating this place in here like crazy. <laughs> you could even get rid of the torches, right? Let's see. Yeah, man. I mean, okay, there's some light coming off the, the fireplaces, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, this is crazy. The question now only is, like, if we have four lights, you know, on all sides, will it be brighter as the sun inside our room here? That is a, a good question. <laughs> oh, man, this game. It is, a new update came out, by the way. It's a uh, version 13. Point seven now with a bunch of bug fixes and um, I think the dupe glitches got fixed. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, but I was reading it in the patch notes. The you know fireplace dupe glitch we've been using was fixed, which is a good thing, of course. I mean, you don't want to have dupe glitches in a multiplayer game. I mean, in single player, you know, if you want to cheat and stuff or whatever, you just go to the creative mode pretty much and um, do it like that. Um, so that should be should be fine, but in you know we don't if you have a server and there's some people that know about dupe glitch it glitches it can really ruin the fun and uh, obviously in in old Minecraft Minecraft tradition um, we don't try to cheat or you know um, that's always part of our way of entertaining not just screaming about making funny voices we also want to impress the people a bit with what we accomplish in the games we play. We had a little discussion about that lately on the Minecraft. You know, what are we, what are our strengths and um, what what are we doing? And yeah, because we were also talking about, you know, some ideas, um, how we could um, do some more Minecraft together as a group. We, we openly talked about uh, it, how, how are we all interested in the game, you know, what would we be willing to do and so on. And there's some brainstorming going on. Maybe we come up with something, which would be cool. So I guess it's soon gonna be day, and yeah, I set my marker already over there. So today there's not gonna be any ridiculous building guy. <laughs> um, today is gonna be some exploring, um, which I had planned for a few days now, but it just uh, didn't get around to do it. Is that a feral? No, it's not. Got a few fools coming in. Yeah, jump in the pit. Be happy. Why was this guy on the floor and now getting up again? <laughs> oh yeah. Is it bright enough here though with the torch flipped around? Oh, whoa. Who spit at me? Oh, the cop. Right, he dead. There's a few fools running around down there. Not much damage happened to the bunker, by the way, when I took this one day break, so we're cool. Alright, I'm gonna wait it out a little bit and then um, over to the city. Talking about feedback. There can be positive feedback and there can be negative feedback. And a little taste of negative feedback the Fine Brothers got. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, if you haven't heard about the Fine Brothers, they're these guys that make the videos like kids react to whatever. They make reaction videos. And, you know, elders react to, I don't know, the internet and stuff like that. Became a pretty popular thing around the YouTubes. And, yeah, the latest thing they tried to do was... Um, to kind of, well, it's totally backfired and I can tell you why. They wanted to f yeah, branch out by franchising the whole uh, yeah, React thing. They call it React World. It caused a, a huge shitstorm for several reasons, but I think most people didn't really get the right reasons. They thought they want to 
like copyright reaction videos in general, which is not the case. I mean, um, for sure they didn't come up with the principle of reacting. I mean, even Beavis and Butthead back in the days reacted to other videos, right? So it's nothing new or there's uh, other older TV shows that have that. But what they tr were trying to do is to set up um, a franchise in the sense of you or I or wh whoever does stuff on YouTube could do videos and brand them as Fine Brothers Reaction World videos. And they probably would have... Um, like a web uh, a website or a YouTube site where they would feature those videos and in return they would take a certain amount of your revenue. So, you know, ever heard of the word pyramid scheme? Kind of the same thing. It is not a new idea. Things like that have been around on YouTube forever. There is channels uh, that have that solidly live on that. There was a few Minecraft channels uh, back in the days that were doing that as well. Pretty much, you know, P uh, machinima uh, is also another example. People doing videos for them, they upload them centralized on their big platform and yeah, get a part of the revenue for it. I don't know, I think the Fine Brothers wanted to grab 30% or so. Well, I can tell you one thing. In the end, there's only one person that will win from that or one entity and that is the Fine Brothers. Just think about it. You have a platform and you're this guy who puts up two videos there. The video probably will not go viral and will not be like a million view video so you can actually make some money of it. No, it will have a thousand views or whatever, you know, nothing, a few bucks and your <laughs> revenue will be five dollars or so if it goes well. So nothing major, right? But if you are the Fine Brothers and have this hub and you have thousands of thousands of thousands of those videos, it's 10,000, you know, and all of them make you five bucks a month. Just do the math. So it's pretty much like a pyramid scheme. That's, um, that's all I can say about that. And um, they try to sell it as we gonna create something, a time capsule and in, in, in 100 years people will watch this and see um, how society worked back in our days. Come on, man. Uh, this is a bit, it's, it's not like freaking Goethe you know, that they are doing groundbreaking work here. I mean, there's a certain relevance to videos like that, but for sure it's not like a... Yeah, the way they try to sell it. In the end, it's a pyramid scheme to make a lot of money. Not a new idea. Um, doesn't look like they have many new ideas because the whole React to Sing thing is also not a new new thing they did, so whatever, you know. So, I don't know. Let PewDiePie copyright or franchise Happy Wheels videos and he, he make a hub and you can say PewDiePie's, um, I don't know, Happy Wheels franchise world to it and then, you know, it would be the same thing. It's completely dumb and rightfully they got a very negative reaction. Although most people really thought they want to like copyright the react thing. You need they might do it, you know, you don't know. They try to copyright the word react. Um, that's a fact. And right now, there's an appealing process going on. You know, if you, if you copyright something, first of all, there's this board who checks, okay, can this be a copyrighted term? If they agree, they put it up, and then there's a certain period of time that has to go by if there is, you know, the public interest um, or some... Yeah, somebody has something against it and files an um, uh, official complaint and, and, you know, so it's not uh, like you can just copyright something and then some board approves it. Um, um, there's always a time period of appealing and um, I saw on Reddit um, there's a, 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 yeah, a, stunning, a, a stunning amount of lawyers on Reddit, <laughs> supposedly sarcasm, right? internet lawyers but also some real lawyers of course and yeah some guy offered help to kind of appeal it and you know, it's in general uh, it is a way to make more money for the fine brothers and they should make enough money already i think they make a hundred twenty hundred whatever million views a month and that is hundreds of thousands of dollars a month i don't know exactly about their cpm rates that is how much you get per thousand clicks but I'd assume they definitely are making enough money and yeah, it's just another way for them to pretty much make more so do we want that on YouTube no
if you have such a successful thing going on already, come on, can you, don't be greedy as hell and try to even get more and then, you know, I mean, uh, then sell it as a, a world-changing, amazing cult thing of cultural importance. Uh, I'm just sick of that stuff and things like that and people like that. I mean, of course, if you do YouTube for a living, you have to consider... Um, being smart about your business decisions, you know. Some people call it sellout, some people call it putting food on the table. You might have some marketing campaigns going on or, you know, some endorsements, sponsorship deals or whatever. Um, you have to if you do it as a profession. If you're not one of these channels like Fine Brothers who makes hundreds of thousands just by YouTube views, then you probably don't have to worry about any endorsements. And if you do, um, you can be really selective what you want to do and what not, you know. Um, but yeah, the point is utter bullshit, the dishonesty of them also disappointed me a lot um, in the whole situation. I mean, come on. It's crazy. YouTube is ever, ever changing. It's never gonna be the same like it was in the, you know, good old days when people were actually having a hard time getting a partnership and it, it took months and months and maybe years of dedication of producing content to actually be able to monetize this stuff. At one point Google um, wanted to make more money and opened the floodgates and pretty much um, enabled anybody to make money of YouTube um, instantaneously, uh, which is um, the worst decision ever, in my opinion, YouTube ever made. Because uh, before, at least, you had to show some dedication over a certain amount of time to prove that you, you kind of, you know, want to work hard for the whole, for the whole YouTube thing, and that you deserve to be a partner. That's how I um, became partner. You know, I, uh, you had to apply, and then eventually it got, um, got allowed, and um, it was not easy, especially uh, if you were from Germany. I was one of the first guys in Germany that actually got approved and there was not many before me from Germany actually making a living of YouTube. So uh, it is it's changing, you know, big companies pushing pushing on to the market. Not the SMG stock. I don't know if you even want to keep it. We could leave it here in the safe or so. Let's have a look at the book. Shotgun barrel. Yeah, let's leave that one here. So yeah, be careful with stuff like that. Um, mostly, um, it is not what it seems to be, and it's definitely for the fine brothers. It's about making money and not <laughs> the way they try to sell it. Hey, we gonna give you guys the opportunity to become part of this amazing movement. It's you know what the hell is. I <laughs> Sure, there is a certain level of naivety on YouTube, you know. Um, I'm still sometimes confused when they're, you know, when, when giant channels that are making, obviously making a lot of money, sell, still sell it as a hobby and go like, yeah, I'm, I'm not caring at all about the money. It's just about um, fun for me. Of course, at one point, if you're making hundreds of thousand dollars a month, it's can bet that it's not just a funny hobby you're doing. I mean, then it's, it turns into some sort of job or your main source of income, right? I mean, sorry. <laughs> um, that's just what it is. And yeah, I hope, I hope the whole Fine Brothers thing doesn't take off and people are not so stupid to fall for it and putting their hard work on their network channel, just, you know, pushing more money down there. The pipes there already they have a lot and they don't necessarily need a lot more. <laughs> well, you can never have enough money, but then at least earn it your own way, you know, and not let other people produce content for you and then just <laughs> put your franchise name, so to speak, on there and, and get rich from it. I mean, yeah, I just feel, you know, some kid... <sighs> it's what I have to think about when, he, when I see stuff like that. Some kid, you know, falls for it, believes in the whole storyline, feels like, hey, I'm part of something big. In the end, it's just pushing more money down the, the throats. And yeah, it just feels fishy to me. But I guess that's how YouTube developed in our times, right? It becomes more and more business, more and more. And we have to live with it. 
Alright, what do we have here? Oh, another shotgun messiah. Let's check it. Let's see what we find. Uh, lots of good receivers and stuff. I'm mainly interested in finding paper at the moment so I can make more shotgun bullets. And beer is never bad. So let's see, look around. What do you think about the whole fine barter thing? Did you did you approve of it? Did you say it was a good idea? Because I also saw some, you know, it was not only negative feedback. Some people also said, hey, it's awesome of you guys to do that. What did you think about it? I mean, are you considering um, to, to put some content up for that? Would you consider it if you are doing YouTube? Do you think it makes sense? Um, whoa. A perfect hunting rifle. I feel obliged to take that with me. Oh, perfect magnum parts. I also want to take that with me. That safe's gone. Alright. Auger schematics. Let me leave them here. Maybe someone else can discover that. Alright. So, where is more shops in town here? We are here. Let's go over there. Check that out. It's this way. There's a broken down community center. I'm also looking for batteries. That's why I'm checking some of the cars. We could, we could use our wrench on them to increase our chances. We might start to do that. But I'm always a bit reluctant to break, our, break apart these nice cars. I always feel it's nicer just to, to find something in there. But if you go until that state, you know, and don't go further, they still would spawn halfway decent stuff. Oh, there's a little bag. Let's check that out. Let's see if it respawns. Yep, respawns already, so nobody's been here for a while. Oh, nice jacket. Hunting rifle parts, chicken ration. Let's eat that. Alright. Where is our marker? Okay. Water treatment plant. There is some working stiff crates in there. Let's find a way to get in that thing. But so far, no luck. No, that's a bad idea to break in here. Somebody break it open somewhere. Can we break these fences? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh. Pipes, guys. Pipes. <laughs> Should we take some pipes with us? We need them, believe me. We need pipes. <laughs> I'm just gonna take these, alright? If I'm gonna go for pipes, I'm gonna do it on my own. You guys know, hate the pipes anyways. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, I, that was sarcasm. I also saw a lot of positive feedback about the pipes. Not like everybody hates them. Alright, let's see. There is a working stick crate. Some rebar frames. And we are already accumulating tons of crap again. Mm, that is not really necessary. That. Yeah, let's leave that here. Let's scrap that. We can leave the headlight here in the glue too. Not really necessary to take that with us. The hunting rifle barrel, we we'll leave it here too. Let's leave that as well. Alright. Looking better already. And let's see, we have one in here. Anvil, good shovel, not anything I'm particularly concerned about. Nail gun! Another anvil, GG. Now we picked up all the crap we just threw on the ground. Um, I think in here there's also crates, yeah. Mm. Let's that shovel here too. I know there's paper. Oil, ah, we have a bunch of it at home. Although you can also never have enough of it. Alright, let's check this. Nothing. Let's check this. Two amazing shovels we don't need. No, we don't need that. Just can't resist. Need more pipes. 
We like pipes around here. All right, let's get out of here. I might have missed one or so, but so be it. Okay, so hmm. Now we are here. Let's go over to this corner. I mean, we could check in here in the ammunition crate if you find something amazing. Oh, paper. I'll take it. Stay way up. Crappy shotgun barrel. Yeah, lots of stuff. Sunglasses, that's actually pretty okay. Oop, it's getting cold. It's getting cold here. Alright, let's head this way. What do you got? Nothing you need. Oh, it's getting mighty cold around here. It's at 27 degrees and we are wet. All right then. Let's get rid of that. Bruh. Nasty. We're wearing our coat, aren't we? Yeah. Wow. Oh, a nice chainsaw blade. That's actually a pretty good find. The city was not all in the snow. There's also some warmer parts of the city. Well, let's see if we can hit them. Oh, wow, we're getting cold. Blah, 20 degrees. Blah, 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 blah. Ice cold. Need to make us a fire or find shelter soon. Bones, 18. Oh, God, we're gonna freeze to death. Let's get out of that hellhole. 16, oh god, <laughs> we're literally freezing up. 15, I never was that cold. Let's get some wood. Oh, let's go in there, let's go to the Shamway. Oh yeah, there's, there's some more stores. Let's see, we need to get some stone actually to make us a fire and so. Oh, there's fires. Nice warm up a bit. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Freezing cold. What's over there? Is that... Yeah. There's a bunch of shops here we need to check. I think there is a working stiff right there. Yep. All right, let's go. Yeah, not going into the shamway. All right. Shovel. Two calipers. Wow. Take one. Yeah, better keep these stone on me, to be honest, if I want to make another fire. Metal door. Crap, crap. Nothing. Let's make it respawn. Nothing. Wood. Good, we need it for the fire. Sledgehammer back. Mm, check this thing. Chainsaw schematic, enforcer magazine. Yeah. Can I leave that here? Auger blade, that is okay. Mm. Ooh, a very nice chainsaw blade, actually. Okay. Another crate. Let's check it. Sledgehammers everywhere. Let's 
grab that. Paper. Got that. Oh, we got the painkillers now. I guess we can stuff them back in here. Don't need them at the moment. Guess. Jeez, man. We can't find a nail gun. It's impossible to find it. What time is it? <sighs> Random boxes. Nothing of interest. Some pens. Paper. Scrap that. Bookstore. Well, we might get some paper out of here, actually. Let's look for books. Yeah, that's nice. We can make some more paper from them. But we gotta keep them as books, I guess. Because otherwise, gonna have another inventory slot taken. Alright. Let's briefly go through here. See? Uh, set in concrete book. We'll leave it. Maybe somebody wants to find it. It's another hundred paper there. Alright. Good. <coughs> Check here. Did I just pick that up? A trophy. I hope not. Alright. We could toss the feathers later if we have to. The calipers we also don't really need. Ooh, there's a bear. Bear? Is that a zombie bear? Is it a zombie bear? He's so gr Oh! Jeez, man. Oh, more working stiff calipers. Let's grab those. Calipers, 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 calipers. Sick of calipers. I need a nail gun. Please, please. We have maxed out looting. Not a chainsaw blade. I mean, let's leave it here. We don't need to take a few hundred. <coughs> yeah. oh. No. No. It's a pain. Probably never, never find a nail gun. It starts to get frustrating. Been looking for a nail gun, I don't know, for like every time I went exploring pretty much. Yeah, alright. So I think that's all the working stiffs here in the city. Wait, there's gonna be one in here now. Alright, so I'm pretty much full. Mm. Why are you mad? Should head home. Was that a zombie bear I just shot there or not? Maybe he has. They mostly have clothes. Oh, he got up again. Yeah. Some pants. Alright. Ah, we're getting hypothermic again. Where is home? It's set as a marker and run home. Get out of here, out of that freaking cold. Well, no nail gun for us. They don't exist. What is in here? Did we check this place? Oh, it's a food. 
calipers here. Let's take some more ham home and here. I'm quickly gonna search this place here and then, um, yeah, we're gonna go home again. Hmm. Eat. Oh boy. We are almost home, but not really. And it's getting night night. That means it's after 10 p.m. <laughs> Damn. This could turn out nasty. Let's see, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can make it home. Oh man. Thought I could make it. But I got distracted on the way picking up bird's nests, trying to look for some more eggs. Because right now I'm pretty much mainly making bake making bacon and eggs. It's just kind of the better food because it doesn't waste glass bottles, although we have tons of glass bottles by now as well. So whatever. I have some smelly food on me. And I'm checking some cars still. Is that will you respawn? Yep. Yeah. No interest in that. We're almost home though. It's not like that we're out in no man's land. But it could get dangerous here. It's the perimeter. Oop. Clear. Didn't encounter any zombies on the way. That's cool. Ah, oh, look at this. What the hell is that? Northern lights. Oop, spikes. What? We didn't encounter any zombies on the way. Unbelievable. Take it. Don't complain. Sweet, we made it home. Let's store up what we've been gathering, shall we? Tons of chainsaw blades. I'm also getting a full collection of those by now. So much stuff. Another auger blade. We have a perfect one sitting there already. We have this engine, but we also have a blue engine. Engines we also don't have like crazy amounts of, but we're doing good. Store that away, store that away. The beer. Nice collection of beer. Good good haul with the fuel there too. The shades in here. Here, how much fuel do we have? Yeah, we're getting there. Another SMG stock. Nice magnum parts. But yeah, we have a bunch of these already as well. Put the oil in here. We've got a lot of oil, we can make a lot of weapon repair kits. And brass. It's also a decent amount. It's good. It's my cave hall here, by the way. Alright. Let's put that in here. I mean, can we scrap these? Just want to see. Yeah, we can. I don't think we wanna we need to necessarily hold on to them. Could probably upgrade one of our chainsaws here. Let's see how that is posed. Yeah. Pretty good motor in it as well. Um, let's take that out. Get one of the perfect chainsaws in. Make it a little bit better. Assemble. Boom. Slightly better. Good. Yeah, we hold on to the purple one. That's for sure. Okay, a bunch more pipes. And more fuel. And we have that here. How is our duct tape situation? It's okay. Okay. Grab that all. Can make a bunch more shotgun ammunition. That's good. How much paper do we have? Yeah. 
decent amount. That's almost 500 shots there. It's good. Bunch of rebar frames. Nice haul. Nice haul this time around. Collecting scrap. Let's see. Check on the furnaces. Oh yeah, almost done. Let's get more metal smelted up. Mostly I'm using it for steel nowadays. So let's do this. Put that in here. Back up. Get some coal. And I'd say we wrap it up for today. Here we are making stone. Okay, yeah, let's start the cement making before we leave. That's that. Here we should also have some stone, right? Yeah, not as much, but still good amount. Okay. This one is running. Yeah, it'll run for a while. Sweet. Okay, guys. So, thanks for watching. Sadly, no success with the nail gun. We keep on trying. And, yeah. Next episode, we'll see what we do. Maybe we keep on building a little bit or we go on a further exploring trip. I also wanted to go to the desert one more time. And maybe get some fuel home. Well, what's Cole's thing? That's the shale mine here. I mean, we explored all the way back there. We have also a bunch of um, areas to explore. I mean, I don't know what's beyond here. There's also a lot of, a lot of gray areas still. Back here we could go to, what is that? Is that a military camp or is it a bunker or what is it? Hmm. Well yeah, we'll see what we do. Thanks for watching my friends, I hope you enjoyed the exploring, it was not that ridiculous. <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for the support.